My name is John and welcome back. It's that time of year again. Leaves are falling off the trees. It's time to get out the blowers and do some work. These blowers I have here in front of me are the Echo E-Force battery power blowers. This first one here is the 2500 hand blower. This puts out 17 newtons of pushing force on turbo. And this is the Echo 5800T. This battery power backpack blower puts out 17 newtons on non-turbo and 25 newtons on turbo. So the 5800 is a mid-range backpack blower if we're comparing it to gas power blowers. The 2500 hand blower is as good as a commercial gas power hand blower. So if you're in an area where they ban gas blowers, the 2500 is a great choice, can handle anything you can throw at it compared to a regular hand blower. And the 5800, like I said, is a mid-range backpack blower, so it has plenty of power to move leaves around, great for grass cutting, that kind of thing. So what I'm gonna show you today is just the capabilities of the hand blower versus the backpack blower, pushing this pretty good size pile of leaves back here. Keep in mind, these are freshly fallen leaves, like if you're, it's just happening, they're falling down, you wanna get out there and get work done before they get rained on and become a nightmare. This will give you a really good example of how these blowers perform. Before I get started, let me show you how to use the controls on both of these blowers. The hand blower, the 2500, you have variable speed throttle. Very responsive. You have the cruise control lever. Lock it any place you want. And then you have the turbo button on top. The turbo button on the 2500 does not lock in place. So you have to hold it down with your thumb the whole time you're using it. The 5800 backpack blower, uh, a little different from the hand blower. You have the battery indicator up here compared to not having it on the hand blower. To use the backpack blower, you pull the trigger, there's going to be a slight delay because the blower's off, but once it comes on, it's an instant throttle. So pull the trigger, a little delay till the lights come on, then it's an instant throttle. With this one, you have the cruise control lever. And then you have the turbo button and we pull the trigger all the way you just press the turbo button and it locks in place so it'll run the whole time you're using it when you let go of the throttle the turbo button unlocks and goes back to normal throttle so this is super easy to operate and what's great about it it does turn off when you're not using it so it doesn't drain power so now let me show you what these blowers can do, moving this leaf pile. So now let's move this pile. I'm gonna cut this thing in half. I'm gonna start on non-turbo, just so you can get a good idea of the capabilities on there. And then I'm gonna run on turbo. So that was non-turbo, but full throttle, and this is gonna be just straight turbo. As you can see, it does a really nice job on turbo, blows the leaves pretty far, probably blows them 20 feet. Now I'm gonna run the 5800 in the same situation. I'm gonna run on non-turbo for about 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna run on turbo for the rest of the time. Non-turbo wide open, like I said, is identical as far as pushing force goes to the 2500 on turbo. So this will give you a really good idea just what this thing can do compared to the hand blower. And then I'll run on turbo for the rest of the time, and that'll really show you how far and how fast this thing can move this pile. And this is going to be turbo, so the 25 newtons of pushing force.
can see 5800 just way more powerful on turbo than the hand blower it just moves so much more material what i'm going to show you briefly is running the 5800 without the nozzle on it i like to do this when you're trying to capture a bunch of stuff like it's very dusty you just don't need a direct flow you want it to sort of catch everything this works really well on turbo In the right situations, running without the nozzle on can really help you out. Now let's see what we can get done in about three minutes with the hand blower and the backpack blower. So the hand blower, that was about 36 seconds, about eight feet wide, maybe 40 feet long of pine needles and leaves. Does a great job. Let's do the backpack blower. About 30 seconds with the backpack blower. You can see it does an amazing job. Cleans right to the ground. Does a better job than the hand blower does because it's putting out way more power. It can really sweep the area out. One final thing, if you're thinking about getting a battery power from a hand blower or a backpack blower, the Echo E-Force blowers are excellent. You're gonna find the hand blower in a package with a string trimmer. Don't think you're getting a big box store hand blower when you get this E-Force. This blower is excellent can push piles of leaves like I just what I just showed you. Really does a great job. The runtime is gonna be a little short with the small battery, but it's really decent with the big battery. And the 5800 is 10 minutes on turbo, 15 minutes on non-turbo, but you can put a lot of batteries in here to get the most runtime out of it. But that being said, both these blowers are excellent and I highly recommend them. So if you find any benefit from this video, please consider subscribing and thanks for watching.